In this class, we will study about editing solids and how their meshes behave. These tools enable the creation of different geometries from existing geometries for our designs. So let's begin the class. In the last class, we learned about defining measurements for the length, height, and width of an object. Remember, we can also modify the geometry of an object by adding different modifiers, and we'll learn more about these throughout the course. Now, we will change the solids by editing their meshes. There are two types for editing solids. Editable poly and editable mesh. We will study the editable poly type in this class, which provides more interesting tools than the earlier editable mesh. Assess the quad menu to convert a primitive into an editable poly by right clicking the mouse and then click Convert to Editable Poly. This tool subdivides the geometric properties into vertex edge, border, polygon, and element. These are selection modes which help to select specific vertexes, edges, and faces. Let's learn about the function of each selection mode. Vertex changes the position of any vertex in the shape. We'll see this gizmo is specific to this vertex. In the Edge mode, we can change the edge properties. We can change the position angle and also the scale. The Border Selection mode enables the selection of all edges in an opening of a geometric mesh. If this object were closed, it wouldn't be possible to select the borders of the geometry like this. In the polygon, we can change the polygon settings. There can be more than three edges in a polygon. This selection mode is appropriate for this type of geometry editing. The element selection mode enables changing the entire geometry. We can, for example, select geometries separately when they are attached to each other. As you can see here, there are two semispheres. Both are attached. Assess the element mode, and then we can select the lower semisphere. We can see only the lower part has been selected, and now it is easily edited. Assess the polygon mode to extrude faces. Enable the extrude settings, as shown here, and click the By Polygon option. In Extrusion Height, type any desired value and you will see a very interesting lamp. Now, if we had enabled the polygon option for selecting all the faces, we would needlessly select the upper part of the semisphere, and this would double our work to unselect it.
So in this class, we learned about the main properties of an editable geometry, and based on this knowledge, we can generate more complicated models for our designs.